but I think if anything COVID has pushed that to the fore start with the people around you yeah, start look after with, your and look own. after your yeah. own yeah. So here we are again, this time with a man who probably needs absolutely no bloody introductions at all, lists of awards as long as my arms, uh, top 50 in the world, Luke Dale Roberts, Test Kitchen, Potluck Club, and well, others that have made it through COVID, that haven't made it through COVID. You had a quite a big portfolio of restaurants before it began. Yeah. Has anything fallen by the wayside? Are you rocking along or? To be honest with you, like when COVID kicked in, we lost uh, Commissary, yeah. um, Short Market, Salsa V, and um, yeah, that's about it. And then we kept. Oh, that's about it. That was I know it was it was hard. hard. We, we kept we kept Test Kitchen and Potluck running, um, but I'm very happy to say that everything pretty much Commissary's like the brands kind of folded up because it was very much Wesley. Wait, yeah. Um, but. All the others are in the process of opening or open. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, so it's it's good okay. news. There's like a, a silver good news. lining. Yeah, a, yeah, yeah. And has I mean, so I in this series I keep talking to people who have sort of had to reframe their their narrative. Mm -hmm. Their kind of what's COVID done for your brand? Um, well, it's made me aware of a lot. Um, it's it's made me aware of um, how important the people are you know it's that was like a it, it's made me aware of the risk of having a bigger restaurant brand and employing more people and but at the being same, responsible being for responsible you, you are exactly that you're responsible for them um, it, it made us reinvent what we were doing. We started a deli, we started hampers, we started a wine shop, we started doing deliveries, we started doing all that stuff. So let's just unpack that. What, what, was that a way to keep everybody employed and to keep yourself busy? And how did you market it? It was exactly I mean, especially that. a wine shop, because I do recall the dark days of no wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, we, I mean, the, the first, first and foremost, when COVID happens, we said, we need to look after our staff. So we set up a, um, a charity that um, we, we punted to all our database, which is like quite a few hundred thousand people now. And, and we were very lucky we got donations from a lot of people and we were able to augment um, salaries and tours and all of that. We made sure that we were feeding, um, feeding them, giving them, we, we used about, I think eight tons of food that we gave out to staff. Um, which at the time seemed like an obvious thing to do but since I've spoken to some of the staff that are coming back they've said it was like a game changer for them you know they like one of them one of the guys Tony said to me we got the food for the month from you and then all I needed to buy was cornflakes and meat on occasions Amazing. so that was that was like I mean, it meant a lot to me to hear that. It's and, huge. And, um, and it meant a lot for him to receive it. I mean, as you said, a game changer. Yeah. Not getting it, yeah, yeah. Um, sure. So I suppose it, that's what restaurants and eating and feeding people is about, and it's kind of about sharing. Exactly. And, and it's a family. It's like, it, I always say it, and, and I've heard other people say it, it really is like an extended family. And at the end of the day, like, the people are the, the thing that make the thing alive and work it's not about me or well I mean I think he's quite humble sort of lovely guy but you know it is about you because you employ them and create the thing but you give them a place to shine and you exactly. give them a place to feel safe and to get a salary so yeah you do have to start with you darling and okay you. Okay. <laughs> okay well let's start with me yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what I'm saying is it's it's um, at the end of the day I can be amazing and do amazing things and produce amazing food etc etc but if I don't have the people around me to do it with me then it's yeah. nothing it's meaningless and um, if I don't have the the people that come and eat as well it's yeah. meaningless you yeah. know and that was another thing that you know that struck me about lockdown was the loyalty and the generosity that that our, our loyal patrons. patrons have and the way they looked after us and they looked after other restaurants and it was really like sharing 
they were really sharing the love amongst all of the restaurants yeah, you know because you did you did your hampers you also did a you cook range didn't you i'm not sure if you did or didn't no no i didn't um jason did a little thing upstairs my right, chef upstairs yes. did a little thing for you right, yeah um and how did your hampers go did people want luke dale roberts in their home in a hamper it went really well at the beginning and then it lost impetus because um you know what i said to everyone is like the brand actually right now means nothing you know like because everyone's so desperate and everyone's so short of money they haven't had a salary for so long no, from a customer point of view um and their 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 confidence levels are so low that the, the brand almost kind of like it was almost like flattened in yeah, a way yeah it's quite interesting it was good for the old ego <laughs> you know it's like actually you know like it's it's not a given it's never a given and and that's something you kind of forget absolutely to while you're riding a, a wave and, yeah. and so that's obviously informed what your restaurant or the test kitchen is going to use kind of look like going forward i mean i know there's changes i'm not you want to unpack those so we've we've called it test kitchen origins we've actually got the waiters back today so that's exciting, exciting. yeah very um, exciting and, and it's basically going back to what was and what has always been for me delicious food and, and what constitutes a, a delicious comforting dining experience in terms of less courses, uh, highlighting the best local ingredients and using that as the start, you know, not masking it with smoke and mirrors or anything like that. So sort um, of pared down and uh, simplified? Simplified, it, the perception is it's simpler. It's much the simpler. perception, note that, because it's probably not simpler but at the, all the in the back. back. The back story is still quite complicated. Yeah. I mean, we've got 11 stocks on the new menu that we're using at the moment. So it really feels like I'm going back in time in terms of like classic cookery mm. and using a, a stock that's dedicated to a dish or whatever. Love that. Um, and it's, yeah, again, just three course, five course. Wow. So, so you can come oh, that, and you can I must say, I can't eat a huge amount. I always think I can. So that makes me happy because then I know I can get through all of them and remember them. Well, that's the point. And that's Sometimes what I was trying to think. I don't remember all of those courses. You no. know, get halfway through and they go, how was it? I go, it's course five and I think I can't remember now. Yeah. And it feels sad. Yeah. And it's almost like that's, that's one of the reasons I'm doing this is that I think it's a shorter menu might, might be more impactful. And it's definitely more comforting. Yes. And, and that's what the Test Kitchen Origins is about. I like it. It's about comfort and luxury. And when does it open its doors? Uh, 1st of October. Okay, because there's a lot of hoeing and mowing going on inside. We can't show you there. A lot of packing of boxes and unpacking of things. It's very exciting. And a new look, a new... We've opened up the whole space, so it's one space. So it's not light yeah. and dark? Yeah. It's, it's one, one space. space. Yeah, 50 seats. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And potluck? Like, potluck. I mean, I'm working. They're open already. Open yeah. already. Um, I've got an incredible chef up there called Jason Cosmos, who you probably know. Nice name. I love the Cosmos. Cosmos. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. Cool surname. Um, and he's he's just going from strength to strength. And what's amazing about uh, me and Jason is that we can, I can come up with an idea. He can come up with an idea. He'll run with one. I'll run with another. And we actually like more than the sum of our parts in yes. a way. So I'll come up with a green dish and, and I'll have a, a little goat's cheese rocher on there. And, and I'll be like, I don't like the cream in this. And he'll be like, how about we do an avocado puree with jalapeno? And so it's very quick. It's real collaborative stuff. It's very collaborative, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, it's great because he doesn't have a big ego. So he's excited to learn from me and I'm excited to also learn from him, you know. But I think, as you're saying, you know that that readdressing one's ego in COVID has been a real thing, yeah. particularly in the food industry, particularly the chefs I've spoken to, or even the sort of suppliers who really thought they were, and and they still are, but they had to readdress the importance of the people, the importance yeah. of 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 patrons, of of loyalty, and that's never a bad thing. It's good, and I mean another thing that happened is you, I've got a lot closer to my suppliers, and like. I'm talking to the butcher about the meat, I'm talking to the, the veg, green goddess vegetables about yeah. what's delicious at the moment. 
whereas like by default the bigger you get as a company and and the more people you have the further you detach biggest. yourself from the source you know? yeah and if we're going to have something called origins yeah. one you can't and also i think that the the whole you know there's there's been for quite a long time that move towards local is, is liquor and supporting local but i think if anything covid has push that to the fore start with the people around you yeah, start look after with, your and look own. after your yeah. own yeah which could be dreadful because it sounds sort of like donald trump but it's wonderful because we know it's not exactly <laughs> you know thank I mean? god there yes. is exactly there is my darling i wish you the very 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 best of luck and i will be there shortly after the first of october beautiful look forward to having you eh thanks my angel cheers there he is the man himself